is um, the only way he does go back is with full autonomy. I agree. Right. With you I mean, there's there's nothing there. So he has full autonomy right now, and I'm pretty sure Kentucky is going to open the checkbook up again. He goes undefeated. Remember, Calipari makes almost seven million dollars a year in Kentucky. If he if he wins, he goes forty. No, I'm guaranteed the Kentucky wallet will go to almost eight and a half million dollars. That's the asking price in Kentucky. I'm pretty sure it will get close to ten million per season. We're talking Phil Jackson numbers to take over the Brooklyn Nets, and I think the Nets will. The Nets and Procol, since he's a billionaire, he wants to sell the team. He needs to make it marketable. If you have a head coach that's marketable, who's undefeated, who knows the New York area, the guy's prominent, he's a face, he's a, he's a coach, he's, you know, he's a guy that can kick out NBA players on coming to play for him. I mean, just look at all the connections he has everywhere. And I, it'd be a $10 million a year job to take over the Nets, maybe 12, maybe 12 million. I think that if the money's there and the Prokhorov does it, he jumps ship. I don't think he does it for anything under ten million. That's for sure. Gotcha. Well, Danny, tell me. I mean, tell us um, best ways to get in contact with you. Well, um, you know, I'm back on social media, NBA DT29 on Twitter. I am, of course, as people. If people haven't heard, people are listening for the first time. I am the host of NBA Full Court Press on this wonderful network of the Happy Hour Network. We're returning on the third Thursday in April, uh, in two weeks when the playoff, week before the playoffs get started. Um, it's going to be an action-packed show. We're going to be previewing the playoffs. Um, the show is basically talking with the best NBA writers, personalities, and people you're going to find around, taking callers. Um, we're giving all types of information, things to look forward to um, from your favorite, from the, the big-name teams all the way down to you know, the smaller-name teams teams nobody talks about. And we'll also be talking a little bit of NBA draft, but really the show in two weeks is going to be based, focused mostly on the playoffs and really giving you insight from the people who cover the, the playoffs, not just my personal opinion on the show. It's people who actually have a knowledge of the teams and the matchups and who cover these teams on a daily basis. As always, Danny, thanks so much for joining us. And that was NBA DT Danny Thompson, um, host of NBA Full Court Press on the Happy Hour Network. Happy to have Danny on the show on any given time, but providing his, you know, his, his own news and notes on NCAA and, you know, the Final Four. So really excited and really thankful. Uh, Danny's a good follow on Twitter or on Facebook. Um, site gets a lot of traffic. Um, before I go into anything else, I want to just recap what I did this weekend. Um, it was a, a pretty good weekend. I would say, you know, it was a very good weekend. You know what? I'll change it to a fantastic weekend. Why? You know, primarily I appear on LNP on a happy hour network, and then it's independently syndicated to, to our partners that I spoke about um, early on in the show. But on Saturdays, I get the opportunity to be the co-host of another show on this network called Baseball, Beer, and Barbecue. Um, it's a show that's co-hosted also with Lee Val and the wonderful, fantastic Todd Vandenberg. And I, I, I got to tell you, the show is picking up some steam. It's strictly MLB. We're not talking anything else. I mean, we're talking beer, we're talking food, and we're talking baseball. Three things that we love to all talk about. And in less than 10 days, I could be a little off, yeah, I would say about eight days, I'm going to, uh, the baseball, beer, and barbecue team is going to be together in Atlanta, Georgia, attending the Mets at Atlanta Braves at Turner Field. So it's going to be good to see the team, work with them, on, you know, all of us to work on site because we primarily work remotely. Um, a lot of good things happening, um, some sponsorships with um, Asheville for the Asheville, Asheville Beer Fest coming up in May, late May. Um, but let me get into briefly some of the stuff that um, I was dealing with. So this past weekend, I said it was a fantabulous. So wait, it went from eh 
to okay, to good, to fine, to fantastic, to fantabulous weekend. No, but it was a really great weekend. Um, I got to talk what we do every every Saturday, depending if our guests are on the East Coast versus West Coast. So Saturdays are around 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. We're talking MLB with the best of the rest, with the rest of the best. And on top of that, I had the opportunity um, when that show ended, I hopped on the CS Key show um, out of San Diego with our good friend and big brother, C.S. Keys. Um, he's a great find, C.S. Keys show on Twitter. And they actually had me on there talking NFL. We were talking a little Greg Hardy. Um, we were talking NBA. We were talking Kevin Durant. We were talking NCAA. Two A, we were talking about you know a little bit about the draft, the NFL draft. So, with all of that said and done, um, we talked that, and then on Sunday, I really got to show out to work once again with the great Todd Vandenberg. It was the Happy Hour Network WrestleMania Corporate Takeover Edition, and we kind of ripped the WWE apart. Because on Sunday was the WWE's um, Super Bowl, WrestleMania. So with all of that, it was really, really a a great two-hour show with different guests joining us. We were talking about some new school, some old school heels versus baby faces, um, giving predictions for WrestleMania 31, and also talking about our expectations for WrestleMania 32. At no time did we even talk about Ronda Rousey showing up at WrestleMania 31. So we we talked a little bit about that. Um, It was a great weekend. I got to um, spend most of the evening uh, for WrestleMania with my son, my seven-year-old son, watching WrestleMania. It was great. I want to give a shout-out to the WWE and their communications department for reaching out to me, for me to be uh, their guest for Monday Night Raw, May 25th, um, Memorial Day. So I want to say thank you to the folks in Stanford, Connecticut. Um, Okay. Okay. So enough about that. Where are we? We are very very quickly going to to break, break. Everything that's happening tonight on this show, I do definitely want to give a shout out because April is Autism Awareness Month. We, what we want to do is we want to support the families affected by autism during this month's Autism Action Month. So we're going to talk about curing autism. It's the national uh, nonprofit organization dedicated to educating, empowering, and supporting families affected by autism. And it's holding a series of of events during this month for Autism Action Month that are geared towards mobilizing caring citizens. Caring citizens to take action to support families affected by autism. One in 68 children in the United States are diagnosed with autism. So we have to support the families that are needed more than ever. So... There's going to be so um, uh, a specific um, social media campaign that I'm going to be joining to help out. So 
So we're going to urge our folks to get involved and support our, our loved ones who are affected by autism. So TACA and special shout out to Lee Val, our, our engineer and executive producer and CEO and all of the above for listening in on the show. I heard it was a little rough a couple of minutes ago hearing me. I, I guess it was that Megatron voice again. Thank you, BTR. We love you, and we thank you for all that you do to um, BTR. So going back, once again, we're going to support um, – we're going to provide social media support for Autism Awareness Month. Um, so you'll be seeing it on Late Night Parents with the, the various campaigns. I want to get into really quickly on um, the item I saw today, Google's Chrome bid turns any TV into a Chrome PC for under $100. It's a computer on a USB stick. So in the next upcoming weeks, I'm thinking two weeks from now, we'll, we talk about streaming TV. Um, I spoke with the folks today as I was heading home. We were talking with the good folks from, from Matricom who have agreed to come on to the show and talk about their devices, um, their suite of devices. So the site to go to is Matricom, M-A-T-R-I-C-O-M dot net. That website, again, is M-A-T-R-I-C-O-M dot net. They not only do streaming TV, but they are developing, they have their own Android tablet and also Android games. So we're hoping they can get on, they would agree to, to join us in the next couple of weeks. We, I mean, folks, this is some serious negotiating because, these folks are feeling some of the um, heat from some of the other providers between Hulu and Netflix and, and the other services that are out there. So once again, Google Chrome bit turns any TV into a Chrome PC. And, and if you know anything about Chrome PCs, um, we had the Chrome base here from LG. We tested on um, via our late night parents. Um, it's primarily a PC that you must maintain and, and, and obtain internet connection to 24 by 7. There's some things you can do offline, but most of the stuff that you're doing is um, online because you need that, that dedicated connection. So we will have something on the Chrome bit very shortly. Another idea I have here is New wearables ensures you won't fall asleep at the wheel. I've seen something like this before. Um, we had our our, our, our our good friends from Just Blank. They sent me a watch, a um, smartwatch, which will which basically can tell when you're about to fall asleep. It will send you like a, a little buzz. Um, that was primarily for the folks that were in um, in school, and that was by one of our – millennial um, entrepreneurs. But so here's the deal. Advocacy Drive comp uh, comprises a new wearable Bluetooth sensor and companion smartphone app together to ensure you won't fall asleep while driving. The company is launching a Kickstarter campaign on April 1. Um, who's the co-founder uh, Rodolfo Pinto is the co-founder and CCO uh, for the phone, for and the app is for phone, Skype, um, and others. So let's see. More than one-fifth of car accidents worldwide are caused by drivers falling asleep behind the wheel. Um, their new device and companion smartphone app um, hopes to steer you that's a statistic down a different road. Okay. It's unobtrusive to wear and uses technology to detect if you're about to doze off while driving. It senses a dip in your attentiveness. The companion app blares a loud alarm to snap you out of your stupor, potentially saving your life and others, or shocking the heck out of you and causing you into uh, <laughs> running into something. So here's how it works. A guided configuration process helps you um, 